All right, so this is a priority mailbox, ladies and gentlemen, and I think you know what time it is. Um, this will probably be the last one that you see in a while. So, yeah. Um, I did open the box just because it was really taped up, and as you guys know when you watch these unboxings, I use my phone, so I'm very limited with the motion that I have in my hands. Uh, so I had to open this all up before. So we're going to rip this back here. We're going to take this out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the Hibben Double Shadow. So, um, this knife, you may or may not know, um, was featured in Expendables 2. This is the knife when Liam Hemsworth gets caught by Van Damme and his baddies. Uh, the French baddie, not Van Damme, the other French guy, takes this knife and cuts Liam Hemsworth. Uh, he cuts his shirt down his chest, leaves it split because of these split dagger things. Uh... Yeah, not the officially licensed, which, you know, that's all right, because it allows me to carry it, makes it more practical, you know. I'm going to pause this real quick, we'll take the top off, open it up and everything, and see what stuff looks like. All right, so this was stuck, stuck up in here. Um, Atlantic Knife, this is where I got the knife from, not a personal... Oh, whoa, hey, <laughs> you guys are probably going to pause that a lot. <laughs> Don't use my code, bitches. Uh, so that's, I, most of mine I get from private sellers. This came from an actual store certificate. Oh, wow, bent up a little. That's all right. Uh, certificate of Authenticity, letting you know that you're buying a real Gil Hibben approved United Cutlery knife. Seen in the blockbuster motion picture, Expendables 2. Okay, let us get in here. Let me pause this. We're going to open up this sheath and get this knife out. All right, looks like we also had a Gil Hibben brochure sitting underneath the sheath here. So, if you put the ivory handle on this this one right here, this is actually the Dolph Lundgren Bowie I talk about, the one that's huge. This is like 20 inches. Uh, but that doesn't, that's, if you put the synthetic ivory handle with the Expendables logo on it, that's the Dolph Lundgren one. It makes it a lot more expensive that way. This is also the Expendables toothpick. That makes that one more expensive if it's got the Expendables on it. Uh, Gil Hibben throwing knives. He actually makes incredible throwing knives, and I think in the next couple months when I do more of these, I might be getting some of his throwing knives. Uh, survival Bowies. Sword Cane. He's actually got a couple of those featured this year. Doing some good things with them. All right, I'll pause again because now we got to open this knife. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Look at this. Whoa! Oh, wow. Hey, how's it going there? Look at my lips move. Hey, can you see me talking? <laughs> Sorry, I went crazy. Uh, my car to handle has kind of like a wood grain finish to it. Oh, this just feels terrific. <clears throat> just fucking stab some shit, dude. Fucking fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> no, that's fucking... Hooey. Um... Yep, figured. Just like my Rambo 3 knife, this won't be, uh... It's not very sharp. I'm gonna have to sharpen it. It looks sharp, but I'm gonna have to use my sharpener on it. And, uh, I don't have a strop, so I use a leather belt. So that'll be good. I'll take that. We'll sharpen this right up. Um, I'm gonna pause this. We'll actually look at my Rambo 3 knife. Look at the size difference between the two. Hold on one second. Alright, there you go. You can see that there is some length on it. Uh, this, my... Rambo 3 is the 13 inch version. Uh, I have not bought the 16 inch version yet. It's a lot harder to come by because this is the more mass produced version now just because it's a more practical knife. It's smaller, easier to fit, not as heavy. There are a couple sellers that still sell the 16 inch version so one day I will get it. Don't worry. Um, but I, you know what? I like this one anyway. I use it all the time. Actually I used it to uh, chop some branches for the kids s'mores and it's excellent. So yep, yeah, if you just look at it though, look at the size difference. Um, very nice though. I like it. So this is my review or my unboxing for the Shadow Double Edge or Double Shadow. 
Um, I will probably be putting all my Hibben knives together to do like a Hibben highlight so you guys can see them all. That'll probably be coming in the next couple days, I guess. But talk to you guys later. Enjoy.